All right, so we're joined here by Chapman head coach Dallas Hartley. Um, absolutely, Coach Hartley, you got the number four BYU Cougars tonight. Um, probably the biggest game that you've had up to this point. Yeah. Um, you've had a week to prepare. What, uh, where's your focus been going into this game? What are some of the keys you think, um, key areas of, uh, of the game where you guys need to do well to get the W tonight? I think face-offs, we need to make it a 50-50 ground ball. We've got to pick the ball up off the wings. Um, Defensive transition. Uh, you know, if we don't score, we got to get back in the hole. BYU lives off transition. That's always their their mo. So we got to get in the hole and, and be ready to support. Um, I think offensively, we just need to keep the ball moving and bury our shots. Uh, they got a good keeper, so we got to work for good shots and get them moving. And um, defensively, I think it, our D mids really need to step up. We need to be able to we need to be able to get a good push early and then be ready to support. All right, yeah, definitely they're a good athletic group. Right, they run and gun. I mean, that's what BYU's done over the years. Um, you kind of have a veteran group. I was checking out your your roster today, and you know, offensively, you got a lot of guys that have put in a lot of minutes. Defensively, you know, a guy like Nicky Mullins been around. Your goalie's been around. You know, if you were to name, you know, you have talked about the face off. So, so Simon Jenkins, you know, has to do a good job there. But if you're to name two or three guys that you look at, you know, with this group that you have. Who, would, who are those two or three guys that stick out in your mind that really need a, you know, 60 minutes, need to play well for those 60 minutes tonight? Uh, our two D-mids, like I talked about, Melby and Core, our top two D-mids, they're going to need to play well, um, transition and defense. Uh, goalie, Gus Gradinger, he's a senior for us. He's the leader of the defense. We need him to be on point. Uh, offensively, probably Dylan Garner, um, just because he's going to pull probably their, their LSM, who's pretty special. So we're going to need him to have a good night. Um, and we don't want to avoid anyone, so we, we just need to make sure that he's ready to go. Sure. Um, and then uh, probably Wesley Greeson at attack, who, uh, who joins us after missing out on his sophomore year. Um, he'll probably draw the number one defenseman, so we're going to need him to have a good game. Yeah, it's good to have him back in the lineup. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to uh, Gardner versus Nesser. Mm -hmm. You know, Nesser's... I think he's got 25 ground balls, and he's gotten probably around six points. Yeah. So uh, hopefully for you, Garner can have more points than Nesser tonight, <laughs> That's right? That's the idea, right? All right. Well, thanks for stopping thanks, by. Guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. We're, uh, we're joined here by head coach of the BYU Cougars, Coach Schneck. Um, coach, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Uh, we love getting uh, a couple questions out to the head coaches before every game. And the first question I have for you would be keys. Keys of the game. You're playing number one Chapman. Yeah, absolutely. You know, what are you What are you thinking? And we know it, right? Coming into this, sure. you know, we uh, we saw this happening. You could kind of see what was going on with the uh, with some of the other top teams in the uh, in the league, and, and you start to see you know some some uh, some losses happen. So we knew that this was coming, right? And yeah. uh, that Chapman would likely be number one when we came into uh, came into this game. So keys for this game. We know that Chapman's fast. We know that they're talented. We know that they're well coached. And so our focus coming up into this game really was trying to focus on a young team that we have, making sure that they execute on the things that we've been practicing, doing the things that we need to do. There you go. Focus on yourself, and, yeah, and hopefully, hopefully it works out. Yeah. Um, any players? Um, you know, I've seen, I noticed your top three scores. Yeah. You know, two freshmen, a sophomore. That's right. Um, a lot of young guys. Yeah. So you got you got some new faces. Are, are there any? players in your mind that stick out that have to have a great night for you guys tonight? Well, it's going to start in the goal, right? Number eight, Matt Brandenburg. He's a uh, returning senior for us, returning starter. Matt's got a long history with the team. Matter of fact, you probably remember Matt well, right? You know, coming into that 2011 National Championship and and uh, and uh, Matt was a freshman for us that year. And then, of course, he left for a couple years on his mission. Now he's back and finishing up uh, a great career, senior this year, and he's having an outstanding season. So we really got to anchor things there, right? If he has an outstanding game, that's going to be really, really important for us and uh, and then I'd say midfield uh, right at the faceoff X Jack Vassoff freshman Mercer Island Washington uh, this kid's come out and uh, just done outstanding for us and uh, he had great first four games now we're gonna see what he does against some fantastic talent tonight sure no obviously face off well you play well in the cage you yeah. got a great chance That's of coming right. up with That's a right. W so hey thanks for stopping by you bet. Um, and, and thanks for everyone for tuning in here tonight should be a great one yeah looking forward to it thanks Chris thanks All right. now, hey. Welcome to the SLC Game of the Week and also the Coaches vs. Cancer weekend event out here in Henderson, Nevada.
We obviously got a great one on tap tonight with BYU, number four BYU taking on number one Chapman. I'll be calling this game solo. I'm Chris Malone. Uh, my, my counterpart, Mr. Matt Holman, is in charge of this event, and he'll be roaming around the fields. There's there's three games going on right now, and uh, he'll get back with us uh, as soon as some of these games end, and he can come, come join us here to watch this one. Should be a great one. We've got a great matchup. Obviously, we got two great goaltenders. Some phenomenal attackmen, middies, and defenders. Should have a battle at the face-off. Definitely looking forward to call, calling this game. Hopefully it's very similar to our Grand Canyon Colorado game that we called last week. And here we go with the face-off. You got Chapman in white, BYU in blue. Face-offs won by BYU. Poston with the GP. Both coaches mentioned pregame that the faceoff area was going to be key. Obviously, that's key every game, but I think when you when you look at you know two top four teams, you know having two, you know each team having a faceoff guy do, that does well, you know it's obviously something that you want to emphasize during the week of practice. And uh, BYU is able to come up with the first first possession of the game at the midfield. You got Chase Miller with the ball right now. Throws it over to. Tunic. He's got mine hold on there on the line with him. Good decision by by Miller not to take that shot. First possession, just want to move the ball around, get get touches, have a nice long possession. Don't want it to be short. Want to get everybody kind of in the flow of the game, get people feeling comfortable. Miller's got a shorty matchup, draws a slide. Chapman doing a great job, great job sliding and recovering and squaring up to their, their opponent. See good ball movement early on by BYU, great defense by Chapman. We're going to see a lot of this throughout the night. Both teams are athletic, both teams are deep. We're going to see a lot of bodies out here and I see a lot of plays being made. There's a good deflection right there. Great ground ball by Miho. And there's a shot. There's the first goal of the game. Number 20, Severson. This is his 15th goal of the season. Obviously a guy that they look for. A little unlucky there, but similar to kind of our Colorado Grand Canyon game last, last Friday night where you know, Grand Canyon is very good off the ground balls on the offensive end, and, and you saw right there if you're a little aggressive on the ground ball on your defensive end, you, you could be giving up an opportunity, and there you go. I mean, BYU was moving the ball around. Chapman was able to stay with, stay with their players, and all of a sudden there's a ground ball, and, and BYU picks it up. Chapman's a little aggressive on it, and the ball ends up in the back of the net. Polson again with another ground ball. BYU wins the second faceoff, so they're two for two. BYU's gonna sub their guys on and take their time. They're gonna be patient. On attack, you got Farley, Fabrizio, and Severson who just had the goal. Got a new, mid new midfield out there with Bertha. Get a little trail check there. Great job by Nicky Mullen. Can Chapman get a ground ball? They haven't had a ground ball all game. There's a first ground ball by Jenkin. He's got wheels. Good, strong, athletic midfielder. Faces off, plays both ways. Talk about a do-it-all midfielder. There you go. He'll be on the second line for Chapman tonight, as well as taking the majority of the face-offs. There's a wide open, wide open Connor Riley. Sorry, Regan Kelly. Just got to put the ball in the ear. Fabrizio with the ground ball. Finds Nasser, who is not afraid to shoot. And there you go.
And Coach Harley, we, we, we spoke before the game, he, he emphasized making sure that their tra transition defense was on top, on, on top of their game. And that was a transition goal for the Cougars. Started with an unforced error by Chapman. Cougars take advantage of the transition opportunity. I think Max Nesser, I, like, I would like to believe that we're gonna see, see him take a few more shots tonight. Just a nice overhand shot to the goal. He's offside, tough one to save for Gradinger. And there's another face-off win for BYU. Vasso. It's 36 ground balls coming into this game. That's in four games. It's close to 10, 10 about nine. That's nine ground balls a game. The guy is a face-off machine. And he's won all three face-offs in the first four minutes of this game. We're at we're 2 nothing BYU. About 11 minutes to go in this first quarter. There's a shot wide. Chase Miller, not shy. And we got a double team here, something you don't see much of. Oh, was he in the crease? Might have been pushed in. I don't know if he stepped in. They're giving him a goal. Chappie came out, double teamed the ball in the end line. I understand what they're trying to do there. Most teams wouldn't do that, but I'm not saying that's not something you can't do, but nothing wrong with double teaming the ball on the end line. Just gotta make sure you're covered up in front of the cage. And I believe Fabrizio is gonna get his first of the night there. And Chapman's gonna take their first time out, which completely makes sense. BYU has dominated first four and a half minutes of this game. We're at the 10.30 mark, 3-0 BYU. Chapman has literally had the ball for about 15 seconds. We're gonna take a, we're gonna take a quick break right now. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. If you're just joining us, BYU has dominated this game. We're four and a half minutes into the first quarter. It's 3-0 BYU. They've won every faceoff. They've had possession for the entire quarter for except for about 15 to 20 seconds. And we're just coming off of a Chapman timeout. And here we are with faceoff number four. Jenkins wins the, wins the clamp. Chapman wins the faceoff. So great timeout by Coach Hartley and his staff. Good GB there by Melby. Somebody Coach Hartley talked about pregame was Melby was going to have to have a good good day on the defensive end of the field. He's, he's one of their top D middies. And here we go. Granger taking it over to the midfield line. Chapman has numbers. Garner's gonna slow it down, which, you know, they might have had an opportunity there, but they haven't had the ball the entire game. So it makes sense, smart play by Garner to slow it down. Get the first midfield out there, which is, you got Riley, you have Garner, and you'll have Kelly. It's a great stop by BYU. Wardley with a nice over the head check on Caressel. Unforced error there by BYU. Good ground ball by Shriver. 
Easy clear for Chapman. Chapman's back on offense, and here we go. First midfield's out there for Chapman. Just said, I'll say it again, you got Kelly, you got Riley, and you got Gardner. Gardner, probably their top guy. Good look right there by Gardner. Abruzzeza just needs to handle the pass. Easy clear for the Cougars. And we'll settle it down on the Cougars offensive end of the field. Chapman just needs to relax on offense. I feel like they just need to take a deep breath. I say it every broadcast. Take a deep breath, relax. You've been playing this game for a long time, catching and throwing. You've been probably doing it since you're 10. Size of the ball hasn't changed. You know, stick to your fundamentals. Believe in yourself and, and go make some plays. And now Chapman's gonna have to get a stop here. You got Andrew Bertha, number seven. Meekum, number 40. And as I'm calling out the second midfield for the Cougars, they turn it over. That's a great ground ball by Greason. Two, two, two BYU players on them. There's a situation where you want to just move the ball. Get out of trouble, move the ball. Move the ball right now. I don't know why he's not moving the ball. He's got players all over him. BYU subbing and there's a turnover. Move the ball. Do not hold on to it. Great ground ball by Siegel. Great ground ball, Bales greasing out. And the Panthers are gonna bring their second midfield on. You got Nader. Showing good wheels right there. With Jenkin and number 18. Tommy. Score right now is 3 0 BYU. There's a nice save. Nice save by Bradinger. Or sorry. Yeah, Braden Berg. First save of the night for him. First shot on cage for the Panthers. Before that shot, I was saying scores 3 0. Make it 4 0. Just like that. That is a great shot by Severson, his second on the night. Scores 4-0, 6-13 left to go in this first quarter. And Chapman is, and they've, they've calmed down, they've settled in, they've had some offensive possessions, but the Cougars are just, they're on point right now. Their, their confidence is high. They're, they're doing great on both ends of the field, getting the ball on the ground on the defensive end and getting their shots on cage and making Gradinger make, make, make some saves. There's a face-off win by BYU, and that's number four, Nesser. We're gonna get an interference call here. So it's gonna go back to Chapman. I believe it was just a moving pick. Right, once your teammate has the ball, you can't, you can't hit the other you know, you can't hit your opponent. So we get an interference call there, and, and here we are with Panthers with the ball. They really need to make sure that they move the ball well here, and everyone gets a touch, and they get a shot on cage. You can't do that. You can't do that, right? You got to move your feet. You got to run hard. You can't jog in a game like this, right? You got to work hard off the ball, work hard when you have it, communicate well. Do all the little things that are going to allow you to get the shots that you want. And here we go. We're moving the ball now. Get a little two-man game with Greason. Nice pump fake. He's going to there. Nice shot. Bradenberg with another save. We got a flag down. We're going to get BYU by BYU on man up. First quarter, 5.39 to go in the quarter. Scores 4-0 BYU, and this is going to be their first man up possession. Didn't see the penalty. Can't tell who it's on. Wow! 
McKinley not being shy on that shot. And here come the Panthers on a fast break. Great shade by Bradenburg. It's his third of the night. Wow, McKinley just steps in on the 3-3 on the man up and shoots from about 17 yards. And Gradenger made his first save of the night when it transitioned the other way. And Bradenburg makes a great save. Good end line to end line action here. Penalty has been released. We're all even. 4.35 to go in the first quarter. 4-0 BYU. Second midfield's on for BYU, and there's another shot that's an easy save for Gradinger. Nice outlet pass. And we have numbers again for the Panthers. Siegel to Greason. Got to finish those. Down 4 0. You got to finish those. Personally, I think the Panthers should have at least two goals right now. But they're attacking, which is great. Man, BYU is all over the field. They are not, they are going to get after you. If you have the ball on your stick, you need to move it because these guys are going to throw check after check. And there's a slash right there. Panthers have a flag down. They'll be man up. Whether they score on this possession or not. And here's Gardner, Panthers top midfielder with a short stick matchup. Got to move it. Got to move it. You get these poles on you. Nestor's, Nestor's the best in the MCLA. You get him on you, you're going to want to move it. We'll see how this matchup goes. A little out of control there by Nestor. Just flinging his stick. It's not open, right? There's going to be another slash there. So unless it's on the same BYU player, BYU could go two men down here. And essentially, they just gotta, they gotta settle their sticks down. Nestor's obviously frustrated. Throws a stick down on the sidelines. He'll, he'll be in the box for a minute. And I don't know if he had both of them or not. I believe he had both. So BYU will be one man down. 3.36 to go in the quarter. 4-0 BYU. And the Panthers are coming out in a 3-3 with a high crease. They'll get a little wheel to their left side. It's a shot by Nader. Just a little high. Kressel did a good job running the ball out, and they'll still stay man up. Have to take advantage here. Way to step in. And there you go. Panthers players doing a good job stepping into the gaps, making the one more passes. Kressel just misses one there wide. Panthers in a 3-3. They're going to drag and step in. There's a step in right there. There's a save by Braden, Bradenburg. This is fourth of the night. Stick side high. Wasn't an easy save, wasn't the hardest. And here the Cougars are trying to clear the ball. Good hard ride by the Panthers, and there you go. Force a turnover right there. Panthers ball are going to get a quick whistle here. But it looks like the Cougars are back in the hold. Panthers don't have numbers. So Greason's going to walk it in. Still man down. I don't know if, if Nestor's locked in over there or, or how long the penalty sounds like it could have been a two minute two minute penalty because Chapman's definitely been on man up for longer than a minute. So we'll see if they can take advantage of it. And they gotta take Abruzzesi's just gotta step up. Can't catch that ball be, below GLE. And there's a rip. Kressel steps in and lets one go. Gets Chapman on the board. And I look at him, he's a senior captain. I look at him as a guy that's got to step up for this team. You know, on the offensive end of the field, you got guys like Greason and Gardner and, and Ab Abruzzesa. Um, but I, I look at Kressel as a guy who's, who's got to step up. I mean, he's got seven goals, two assists this year. He's had some phenomenal seasons for the Panthers. Good to see him get on the board there. And here we are at 4-1 to one with 2.08 to go in the quarter. 
and this would be the first quarter for the people just, just tuning in. Panth uh, Cougars have had their way at the faceoff, winning four of the first five, but there's a great ground ball by Siegel. It's a second ground ball off the faceoff, gets the Panthers their second win. And here's Jenkins bringing it down. And if the Panthers can get on the board here, it's going to give them a lot of momentum going into that second quarter. Got a minute 10 to go in the first quarter. They're down three. Take advantage. Get on the board here. And there you go. There you go. Greason finds his teammate, Tommy. Tommy, his first of the night. Four to two, BYU. Minute three to go in this first quarter. Good dodge by Greason. Draws a double, finds the open man, Tomei. It's either Tomei or Tomei. I'm going to go with Tomei. I like saying that better. Tomei with the, with the finish. Nice little catch and finish. Chapman won the last faceoff. This will be the seventh faceoff of the game with BYU winning the four out of the seven. Sorry, four to the six. But Chapman won the last one, and they have won this one. So BYU has four faceoff wins. Chapman has three. And you take away the first five minutes of this game, it's pretty much an all-even game. BYU dominated the first five minutes, scoring three goals. Literally controlled, controlled the game. Chapman only had the ball for about 15 or 20 seconds in that first five minutes. And the, and the last nine have, have been different. You know, we're at the one minute mark right now. Like I said, four to two BYU. But Chapman settled down. And there they go. They get their third right there. Great face dodge. Way to get underneath. Try to figure out who had to finish there. It's going to be number three, Nader. Nice finish. Good hands. Way to wrap it around Bradenburg. And here we are at four to three. And ironically, BYU, and I said it before, BYU has four face-off wins. Chapman has three, and that's what the score is. So for every coach out there, we all know how valuable face-off players are. Get a good one or develop one, develop all, as many as you can. And Jenkins with a face-off win. It's the fourth face-off win. We're at 15 seconds right now. Now we're at 10. I don't know if Chapman knows how much time's on the clock. Now we're at five, four, two. Oh, sorry, that's a two. Sorry, I'm not, the clock is a little blurry, sorry. Got a little ahead of myself there. Sorry, 20 seconds ago in the quarter. Plenty of time. Gonna get a loose ball push here. Now there's 13 seconds to go. Panther ball. Apologize for the premature countdown at the end of the first quarter. And the clock is not moving right now. There it goes. Good defensive stop for the Cougars, and they're going to get an easy clear here. Five seconds to go in the quarter. And that will do it for the first quarter. BYU four, Chapman three. Started out all BYU, ended all Chapman. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Four to three, BYU. Start of the second quarter. SLC game of the week slash coaches versus cancer. Game of the night. Stats are even. Four four on faceoffs in the first quarter. 
Bradenburg with four saves. Gradinger with three. We got ourselves a great game right now. Siegel with another ground ball. And a face-off win for Chapman. Just a little, little off on his pass, but BYU gives it right back. And here's Gardner. Gardner's got some good shakes to him. Gardner, Gardner played attack and midfield last year for, for Chapman. Strictly a midfielder right now with Abruzzeza, Kressel, and Greason on attack. Chapman's got the first midfield out there of Kelly, Regan, and Gardner, and a little invert here. Good slide by the Cougars. Kelly's going to move that, or Regan's going to move that ball. And there's, there's a wide open, Greason. Way to get open on the inside. Cougars defenders need to help in. Their defenders up top need to help in, make sure they don't give up those shots from the crease area. Greason's had a couple shots here early, you know, in the first quarter and early here in the second. And just needs to find the cage. Good take by Gardner against a short stick. That's a face-off Vasso for, for BYU. Go at him all night. Good possession here by the Panthers, though. We're a minute and 45 into this second quarter, and they've had the ball the entire time. So good job by them. Let's their defense rest. Makes the Cougars' defense work. Good takeaway right there. Definitely impressed with the Cougars defenders. They got quick hands, they throw great slap checks, good lifts, and get the ball off the carpet. And there's a number of these guys that have double digits in ground balls and they've only had four games. So they're close defenders, they're, they're getting the ball on the ground, they're picking up two to four ground balls a game. Definitely impressed early on in this game with, with their stick work. Severson, he's got two on the night. He's going to move the ball up to Coffey. I believe this is going to be the third midfield for the Cougars. Coffey, Higgs. Higgs up top with the ball against a short stick matchup. Good pressure. Great pressure there by Core. Barker Core is one of the team's top D middies. Coach Harley said that Core and Melby were going to have to have Good, great game for him tonight to get the W. Got a flag down. Don't know if it's going to be a slash or a offsides call. Looks like it's going to be an offsides call. Fabrizio stepped over the line, over the midfield line on the ride. Tomei. Over to Kelly. Kelly's going to sub off for Jake. And this is going to be the second midfield line for the Panthers. Kressel, Abruzessa, and, and Greason on attack. Second midfield line. Here's Nader with the ball. Tomei and Jake in for the, for the Panthers. They have a flag down. There's no rush. There's no, no timer on right now. No shot clock when there's a flag down. You're looking for that, that great shot. Good save by Bradenburg. Panthers are going to go man up for 30 seconds. Get offside. Fabrizio will be in the box. Panthers had a goal in their last man up. Nader was, a, was on the finishing end of that one. He starts on the crease right now. Looks like a 3-3 for the Panthers. Kressel with the ball. Oh, great pick off. Great pick off by number 39, Needs. Now they just got to clear it, get to the D midi. Williams. Williams is a freshman. You look at these BYU players, there are some big guys out here. 
Williams coming in at 5'8", but most of these guys <laughs> over six feet tall. That's just a great play by Needs. Stick in the passing lane, picks it off. Kressel might have telegraphed it a little bit, but I like to think that Needs just, you know, I talked about it earlier. These guys have quick hands down there. You know, if they're on you, they're gonna, they're gonna play your bottom hand, they're gonna slap you, they're gonna lift you, throw the pokes, and then they're gonna get the ball off the ground if they get it on the ground, and they're gonna pick passes off. Cougars slowing it down, making sure they get their players on. No rush. They're up one, four to three. 10 20 to go in the second quarter. This is going to be the second possession for the Cougars here. Chapman has had the ball for a decent amount of time. And now here we go with the first midfield. First midfield for the Cougars. Great defense, great check by Nikki Mullen. Shriver's on the GB. Crossing, fighting for a ground ball over there. Find a lot about your find out a lot about your players in those three on three scrums. Panthers are going to get this one. Good decision going back. Crossing picks it up for the quick whistle. Goes back. That's a good ball. Just a little high, a little high for Kelly. But I like the pass by Gradinger. Puts it on a rope off the top of the stick of Kelly. I, I like the pass, just gotta execute it. Kelly was wide open, if he catches it, he might have numbers. And here's Taylor, just gonna run it out himself. Six feet, 200 pounds. These BYU players, are, they're, they're big, they're strong, they're athletic. The same with the Panthers. I mean, these teams are obviously evenly matched. I thought coming into this game, it'd probably be about no more than a you know, two or three goal win for somebody. And I, I expect this one to come down to the wires. So stay with us the entire time. Don't go anywhere. Nine minutes to go in the second quarter. There's a great look inside. Gradinger with a nice save. This is fourth of the night. Stepped up, took the angle away. 8.15 to go in the second quarter, 4-3 BYU. We do not have a goal here. Teams have obviously settled down. They've, they have felt each other out. They're comfortable. They know what they're going up against. Early game jitters are, are no longer around. Greason's got to be careful there, running into trouble. Don't know if Chapman's going to go back to that invert. Looks like they're doing a little two-man game. Abruzessa and Caressel, and there you go. That's a great look and a finish. Connor Riley with the nice finish there, and there's your first goal in the second quarter. Chapman ties it up, 4-4. A little two-man behind the goal with Abruzessa and Kressel. And Riley just makes a great off-ball cut. Finds himself wide open on the doorstep. Nice high to low finish. Right, the BYU player on, the, on their possession went high to high. Graninger was all over it. Riley goes high to low, and, and it's a tough foot for Bradenburg to save. And here we are, four to four, right around the eight-minute mark of the second quarter. Chapman won the last face off. BYU will win this one. And both teams have won five face offs at this point in the game. All even there. Great job by Paulson to get out of that. Don't know how he did that one. The numbers here, they recognize it, and they did. Unfortunately, Simpson just throws it over to Severson a little late, but they did have numbers. Quick whistle here with the ball going out of bounds. Nicky Mullen brings it up, clears it himself. BYU attackman almost goes off sides. Farley, got to be careful. Attackman out there. Got to be careful. Don't want to go off sides. It's too easy. You know, I know a lot of attackmen like to throw that desperation check. But let's be honest. If you throw it 100 times, how many of them are going to land? 
is it worth it? You know, Fabrizio went man, you know, went off sides earlier in the second quarter. Chapman didn't take advantage of it, but that's just, you know, you just don't want to give teams that advantage. And there's a look inside and a finish. That's going to be Nader's second. Tomei with the look. And when you look at this, when you look at the second midfield for the Panthers, Nader's got two goals. Tomei has one. There's an assist for Tomei. The second midfield is putting up good numbers all season long. I scratched that. I'm actually going to take that comment away. That's Tomei. Tomei actually has had eight points coming in this game. He has at least two right now. So that second midfield has really stepped up their production here. And has given Chapman the 5-4 lead with 6-15 to go in the second quarter. It's a face-off win there for the Cougars. Vasso gets it to himself. Now he's got to clear it. Siegel and Jenkin applying pressure. Here's the thing with Jenkin. He's probably one of the more athletic kids in the MCLA. He's a do-it-all midfielder. He's tough. He's a scrapper. I mean, Vasso seems to me as he's a, he's a Fogo. You know, he's going up against an athletic kid, good size. I mean, Jenkins coming in at six foot, 175. It looks like he's probably a little bit more than 175, but he's got good wheels, good strength. Vasso's going to have trouble running by him. And then you throw Siegel into the mix. You know, if I'm Vasso, maybe I just go back to Bradenburg and, and clear from the defensive end and get off the field. I'm sure his coaches are going to talk to him about it right now. Here we are, 5-4, Panthers ball. First midfield's out there for, for the Panthers. Gardner throws it down to Axe, gets it to Riley. There's a look inside. Great check by Nesser. Gardner's going to pick up an easy GB, move it over to Kressel. And I really like what we're seeing out of Chapman right now. Just They've settled down. They're relaxed. They're playing with confidence. I was just about to say they're moving the ball. Unfortunately, right there. And I don't, I don't know how there's not a, a loose ball hold or a loose ball push on the Cougars there, but Greason tries to dodge through two or three guys, and the ball's going to end up on the ground. Let the ball do the work. <laughs> Draw the double. Move it. It's working. It works probably majority of the time. You know, this is a good Cougar defense. They're not going to let you run through two or three guys and get a shot off. Great job by Shriver getting out there and applying some pressure. Melby's going to get an easy clear here. Throws it over to Riley. Nesser on Riley right now. Nestor's definitely going to apply the pressure, and he did right there. Nice slap check on the bottom hand. First midfield's back on for the Panthers. Got Kressel, Abruzessa, and Greason on attack. They have not come off the field. You get the first midfield out there. Nice little hitch move by Greason. Good look inside, just got to handle it. A little high. Great ride by Kressel. Great ride by Kressel. He's going to get a loose ball push there. Right now it's Chapman 5, BYU 4. Chapman has two goals this quarter. BYU does not have one. There's a shot by Greason. Got to get the players. Youth players behind the goal. Not a good time to go behind the goal if you're a fan. Well, I might wait till the ball goes down to the other end of the field. Officials do a good job there. Make sure we get those, those players out of the way. Obviously don't need any, any of those guys getting hit by a shot. 3.13 to go here in the second quarter. 5-4 Chapman. And in my mind, it's been all Chapman here in the second quarter. Great look by Riley. Kressel again on the inside. Ball hits off his stick, ends up on the carpet, and Riley comes up with a GB, and there's another great look. Great save. Good hustle to the sideline. It's going to be BYU ball. Boston. 
Breidenberg's sixth save of the game. Good ball movement by the, by the Panthers. Get some good looks on the inside. Just got to execute, capitalize. Sorry, that's 3 at 13. I don't know if my eyes are playing tricks on me tonight or what's going on, but 308, 307. Here to go in the second quarter. We're going to get a timeout. BYU is actually thinking about when they're going to use their first. It's their first of the half. They'll have one more after this. Chapman will have one as well. 307 to go in the second quarter. It's 5 4 Chapman. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Sorry to miss the first 10 seconds of this possession after the BYU timeout. But BYU came into that timeout energized. Just seemed like players were moving a little bit faster. Playing with a purpose. There's going to be a flag down. Right, BYU is going to go on the man up. Great timeout by Coach Schneck and his staff. Just felt like BYU had some Careless turnovers up to that point. You can use the word laziness. And obviously coming out of that timeout, they're just energized, moving the ball, dodging hard. Great pressure there by Nikki Mullen. Gets the ball on the ground. We're at the 231 mark of the second quarter. Sloppy. I, I like to see Nikki Mullen. I like to I like to think that Nikki Mullen calls that with a good check on the bottom hand. Here's Jenkins in transition. Nice save by Bradenberg. This is third of the quarter. It's gonna be a 50-50 ground ball. Who's gonna come up with it? Fabrizio comes up with it, moves it over. Way to move the ball right away. I love the pass. And here you go. And this is why you move the ball off the ground to get opportunities like that. A little unfortunate to hit the top crossbar, but that is why you move the ball. Too many players pick up ground balls and they hold on to it. Your job is not over. Your job is to pick it up and then your job is to move it. And then let your teammates make plays. And that's exactly what Fabrizio did. Picture perfect. Unfortunate on the <laughs> hit the top crossbar, but it doesn't get any better than that. We're at the one minute mark. Sorry, we're at the 130 mark of the first quarter, second quarter. 5-4 Chapman. Chapman has their second midfield on. Tomei with the ball, inverting behind. Skips it. Great save by Bradenberg. Kressel with a good rip. Bradenberg's been on his game. That's his eighth save of the night. Runs it out. Gets a possession for his, for his squad. Coming up on the one minute mark here. BYU still has a timeout. We'll see if they use it. Can't, can't use it until you get in the out of the box. Nesser coming down, he's always a threat. 50 seconds. Doesn't look like Coach Schneck's gonna use the timeout. He's gonna let his guys play.
35 seconds ago, 5-4 Chapman. Wow, and Greininger comes out. Great job, great heads up play by Greininger. Come out of the cage and pick up Farley. And there's your timeout. With 25 seconds to go in the second quarter, it's 5-4 Chapman. Great heads up play by Greininger. We'll take a quick break, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. 20 seconds to go in the second quarter. BYU coming out of the timeout. Hops are gonna do their best to tie this one up. Second midfield's out there. Looks like there's a little confusion. They're trying to run a play. There's your shot. Grady Girl with the save. And that will end it. Great save by Gradinger there to finish out the second quarter. A little confusion by BYU, but they were able to get their shot off. So we'll go into halftime, 5-4 Chapman. And we'll be back, starting of the third quarter. Welcome back to the SLC game of the week. Chapman five, BYU four. BYU scored the first four goals of this game. Chapman has obviously scored the last five goals. Scored three in the first quarter, two in the second. BYU with all their goals in the first quarter. And three of them were in the first five minutes of this game. Coach Snack, I'm assuming, is probably talking about his offense, trying to figure out what they can do to get the ball in the back of the net. Since they went scoreless there in the second quarter. I think if you're Coach Hartley, Honestly, keep doing what you've been doing for the last 20, 25 minutes of this game. You know, it took them a while to settle down, but once his players got settled, they've done a great job. There's a battle off the faceoff, which has been all game, and Nesser comes up with a ground ball. And I'll just give you some stats here. Teams are even, pretty even on the faceoff, with Nesser getting that ground ball. BYU's gonna have two more face-off wins over Chapman. Saves, Bradenberg has eight. Have Gradinger for six. Man up. I have Chapman one for two or one for three. Doing my best to keep the stats here. Uh, BYU is 0 for one on man up. We have four different goal scorers for Chapman. Nader coming in with two goals in the first half. Three different goal scorers for BYU. Severson with two leading the way. And here we are, first possession of the second half. BYU is playing, playing energized right now. Good ball movement, going after the short sticks. And there's your first shot. Number 17, Labrum. Oh, 
there's another, there's careless turnover again by BYU. That should be an over and back. Should be a quick whistle here. Should go to Chapman. And there's your quick whistle. And essentially you got a three on three right now if you want it. Kressel's gonna slow it down. Gets a little sloppy with his pass. <laughs> Kelly can't handle it. And here comes the Cougars in transition. There's the look to the D-man, and there you go. Simpson off the feed from Williams. And Simpson, the LSM, ties it up. 5-5. Five, five. Ends the scoreless trout for the Cougars. And it comes in transition off a pass from Caressel to Kelly. That if you're Coach Hartley, you like to think that 99 out of 100 times they're going to be able to make that pass to each other. On first turnover, turns into a goal for the Cougars. And here we are, 5-5. Cougars win the next faceoff. They've won both faceoffs this quarter. And that's Miller. Bringing it down and carrying the ball to Axe. Severson's going to take it from there. And this is a great matchup right here. Nikki Mullen against Chris Severson. They both have had, they both had a good first half. Severson had two goals. Sever Nikki Mullen calls a couple turnovers. That's a matchup we want to keep our eyes on. There's a third midfield for BYU with Coffee with the ball right now. Actually, sorry, second midfield. There's a nice little re-dodge. Not a, not a, a great angle, but Greininger comes up with a nice save. Overthrows Jenkins. I don't know. Jenkins could just pick that one up. Don't know why he slapped at it. Fans are getting excited over here on the sidelines. I'm sure you can hear them. Oh, that's going to be a high hit. Shocked that there's not a flag thrown there. That was right on Labrum's head. Definitely thought that deserved a flag. Panthers get lucky there. So Panthers a little sloppy here to start this third quarter. And BYU is taking advantage of it. Wow. Severson not shy on that feed. If McKinley was ready for it, I mean, the ball was right on his stick. I just don't think he expected it to come. Look, you're on the crease, always expect the ball. You're on the offensive end of the field, always expect the ball. Severson's a talented player. You know when that ball's in his stick, he's gonna, he's gonna make some plays. Here you go, Coffey. There's Fabrizio. A nice rip from Severson. And once again, you know, it starts with the turnover from the Panthers. And BYU takes advantage of it. BYU six, Chapman five. If my eyes aren't playing tricks on me, there's 11-10 to go in this third quarter. But I did get confirmation that that clock is not the easiest to see. There is a digit or two that can be off a little bit. So I apologize for the earlier, um, earlier mistakes on the, on the time of the quarters, but I'll do my best here. Third face off of the, of the quarter for the, for the Cougars, but great ride by the Panthers, but we're gonna have a hold. But Cougars dominating, dominating the face offs, dominating the third quarter right now, and essentially this third quarter looks exactly like the start of the game, where the Cougars scored three goals in the first five minutes of the game, and here they are, they have two, Right in the first four minutes and 15 seconds. And it really starts with the faceoffs. You know, when they win, obviously, when they win those faceoffs, essentially you're playing make it, take it. And it allows the Cougars attack, but to just keep playing with confidence. You know, I'm, I'm sure the Panthers attack when they're getting a little antsy here. The Panthers are going to, they need to stop. They need to stop right now. 
10-10 to go in the quarter. Obviously, Coach Neck had a great halftime speech for his players. And there's another good look. Meinhold with a great look. Found Miller on the crease. Just a bit high on the shot. We're really moving that ball. Graydon Uter with the save. Not a good angle on that shot. Gridinger is going to bring it up. If he wants to keep going, he can. And there's the switch right there. Should be able to get to the shorty. They got numbers. If Gridinger, there, go, there goes Melby. Draws the slide. There's a shot. Greason just needs to find the cage. Great job by Gridinger on the clear. Melby finds Greason for the shot. Just a little bit high on the bouncer. Greason's probably got about five or six shots. Just needs to find the back of the net. I think if he finds the back of the net, his confidence will grow in his shot. He's getting the shots. He's got to, got to finish. First possession for the Panthers here in the third quarter. They're coming out with the first midfield. Here's a good little dodge by Kelly. Gets it over to Gardner. Here comes Riley. Good sweep. That Nesser Gardner. This is a great matchup here, too. Nesser versus Gardner. Got to move the ball. Not going to be able to go through three guys and score. A little force there to the crease. Good job by the Cougar defense. Get the ball on the ground. And here come the Cougars in transition. Good job by Riley. Dean up Taylor there. Taylor definitely wanted to go in transition. Just like all the middies and the LSMs for the Cougars, they want to run. Thought Riley did a good job there. Jamming, jamming up Taylor and slowing him down. Got Bertha out there, Polson. And Meekum for the Cougars at midfield. Fabrizio, Severson. And that's an easy save. That's an easy save for Gradinger. Siegel. But to finish out the Cougars attack is McKinley. That was an easy save for Gradinger. Good outlet. Siegel, Siegel's all over the field. Gets GBs, breaks out well. Gradinger throws some great outlet passes. Puts a zip, puts it on a line. Second possession, way to draw the double. Grease has got two on him, finds the open man. Chapman was actually subbing there, so they only had five guys. But it's good to see Greason move the ball because that's what he needs to do. He does a good job drawing, drawing the slide, just needs to move it. I think if he moves it, he'll have more success and you know, he'll get his teammates involved. There's a slide. There's the look. There you go, right there. Right, draw the double, move it. Good look by Greason. Just misses Kressel just misses high. It's a force, right? Brett Abruzzesi's there to back it up. Sorry, that's Nader on the backup. He's got the short stick behind. And here's Abruzessa up top. He's played midfield in his career. He's done both midfield and attack. Good possession here by Chapman. They've gotten a couple shots. Obviously picked up a couple ground, ground ball. Just really controlling it. Wow, great take by Kressel. Man, I like that. I like him dodging from this goalie top left. Just using his, his body, getting into his defender. I mean, Kressel comes in at 200 pounds. He's a big boy. 6'1", 200. Give it back to him. Let him do it again. Tomei with the invert here. Second midfield's on with Nader, Tomei, and Jenkin. And there it is. There's that dodge again. I like Kressel dodging from that spot. They move the ball well there. 
And there you go. Greason finds the cage. Nice low to high shot over Bradenburg's left shoulder. Ties it up at six, 5.35 to go in this third quarter. Man, what a great possession for the Panthers. Nothing against the BYU defense. Panthers just wore them down, right? Move the ball well. I mean, that was some crisp passes. Thought Kressel did a good job there, drawing the double, moving the ball to X. And I don't know who the player was at X, but whoever that, whoever that was <laughs> threw a missile over to Greason on that wing, and Greason let it fly. Found the back of the net for his first goal of the night. And there's another win, another face-off win for BYU. They're four for four here in the third quarter. Great job by Chase Miller. Miller's doing a phenomenal job off the wings tonight. Shriver on McKinley here. Just a lot of great matchups all over the place. And that's McKinley getting inside. And they're going to give it to him. Not sure what the flag is. Not sure if it will be waved off. Looks like it is going to be waved off. Looks like it was a push with possession. Flag gets waved off. 7-6 BYU, 5-11 to go in the third quarter. McKinley, nice shovel shot right there. Finds the back of the net. You know, personally, I think he literally just took advantage of Shriver being a little bit too aggressive. Um, throwing some, some hard slap checks. Just changes direction on him, gets inside, and is able to finish it. 7-6 BYU. And that's McKinley's first of the night. And here's Nesser with a face-off win. Has the break. Oh, what a play. Great job by Siegel. He's just a guy that just goes all out. I think we're going to get a delay of the game there on Shriver. Got to keep your cool, keep your composure, be disciplined. Yeah, you might, you're not going to like every call every game. But if it doesn't go your way, move on as quick as possible. And in a game like this, in a one-goal game like this, you, you can't afford to give a team like BYU a man up. BYU did not earn this man up. Chapman, you gave it to him. And you know that. BYU comes out in a 2-3-1. I like to count from up top. Two players up top, three across, one behind. There's a missile by Bertha. Staying in that 2-3-1. There's a nice little fake. Severson. Got to keep your eyes on Severson here. I feel like he's on this goalie's right wing. I feel like he's going to get a chance to let one go. There's a skip pass, and there's a shot by Jaden Halls, senior. This is first of the night. Stick side high on Gradinger. And BYU has put up four goals here in this quarter. And they, they look exactly like the team they, that started this game. And Coach Harley and his staff can't be happy about that penalty. They need to figure this out. They need to figure out the face-offs. I mean, they've lost all five face-offs this quarter. Jenkins did well in the first half. But Vasso seems to have figured them out. Here's a 50-50 GP that you got to have. Got to compete. Great job by 27. Willie. Finds Nesser. It's another face-off win for BYU, and that's their, their six for six here. Six for six here in the third quarter on face-offs. And that's, that's the story of this quarter. Right, they're down 5-4. Going into halftime, and here they are up 8-6 now. BYU's going to take their time. They're going to move the ball around. They're going to get their guys on. They're still subbing. Good hustle there from Paulson to get off the field. Wow. Melby. Melby. 
forcing, forcing BYU to play fast. It causes a turnover, great job. And here he is, if he can handle that pass, oh, a little high. Two on one ground ball for Chapman. They're gonna need this ground ball. Abru Zessen is gonna need to come up with this. But where are the rest of the Chapman players? Two on two ground ball there goes BYU's way. I would love to see the rest of the Chapman attackmen over there helping them out. That ground ball is just too valuable. They haven't had the ball that much this quarter. Simpson getting a little sloppy here up top. Really like the D minis of Chapman. Core and Melby, they've been doing well tonight. Good physical defenders. They can run well. Good sticks. Unfortunately, this quarter, the Panthers are just playing a lot of defense. Just playing a lot of defense. Good ball movement here by BYU. Be patient. Nice save. Graninger, this is fourth of the quarter. Great save. Fourth of the quarter, ninth of the game. And here's Greason. You can't do that. You just obviously you can never turn it over, but you, you can't turn it over when you haven't had the ball in a while. Understand the situations. Right? Right now, if you're Chapman, right, you have a minute and ten. Minute and five to go in this third quarter. You've barely had the ball. You're down two. Take your time. Right? Possession's more valuable than then dodging on a three on three opportunity. Let your defense rest. Let your teammates touch the ball. Sorry, we're at a minute. Once again, the clock playing tricks on me. We're at a minute 15 now. Sorry about that. Now we're at a minute 10. So plenty of time in this quarter, right? Here's a great dodge. I've seen Tomei behind the cage a number of times tonight. Dodging his short stick matchup. And I like that. I like that matchup. I like Tomei behind the cage. I like Kressel dodging from the goalie's left side. Those guys are creating advantages, and they're either shooting the ball or moving the ball when they get the double. Abruzessa up top. He's a lefty, and here he goes. Sails one high, just comes out of the stick. Obviously wasn't in the pockets in his sweet, sweet spot in the pocket. Ball just sails high. There's Tomei, there you go, and his shot sails high. They're gonna give it to the Cougars. Tomei, he's quick. Gets a couple steps on his defender, just, just gotta finish. We're under 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. 20 seconds. Good pressure here by the Panthers. 10 seconds. Five. Ooh. And that's gonna be it. And hey, that shot would have counted. Right, new rule, Kyle's across. Right, just have to get the shot off before the clock shows zero, 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 zero. Right? So that shot would have counted. And one thing I told Coach Hartley I would do tonight is congratulate him and his wife Annie on their 10-year their anniversary, which is today. So Annie, I don't know if you're checking in, but obviously your husband, Coach Hartley, has been coaching, whether it's been at La Casa Canyon High School or here at Chapman University, I believe a total of 16 years. So he wanted me to give you a shout, a shout out. Congratulations to the both of you. 10 years and going strong. So congratulations, hopefully you're tuning in. And hopefully as Panthers, I'm sure you, you believe, you agree with me with what I'm saying here, can get the first goal this fourth quarter and get back into this game. So congratulations once again. Uh, we're not gonna take a break because we're gonna get right into this fourth quarter. 8-6, BYU. Right, BYU dominated the face-offs that quarter, winning all six. 
And that essentially was the story right there. Um, first half, you know, BYU won six face-offs, Chapman won five. And if Chapman's gonna get, get back into this one, um, and they're gonna obviously need to get possession. It starts off with Simon Jenkins at the face-off position. But Vasso's done a great job uh, tonight. Jenkins played well, he just needs to, needs to figure it out here. Um, so here we are, 8-6, start of the fourth quarter. Want to give a shout out to our video crew, TVX, for making the trip out here to Henderson, Nevada for the Coaches vs. Cancer weekend. Matt Holman, who is usually my partner here, hasn't joined us. I miss you, right? We did a great job last weekend. I'm looking forward to this weekend, but I understand you have, you have work to do. So here we are, fourth quarter, and there's that face-off win that Chapman needed. Needed it badly, and they got it. I love to see Chapman go back to Kressel or, and, and, go at, and go at his matchup. They're gonna come out here with the first midfield, so Tomei's on the sidelines, getting some, getting a breather. But here's Kressel with the ball now. So you got the first midfield out there. Riley, Kelly, Gardner, attack of Greason, Kressel, and Abruzessa. Gotta get it going here. Getting one here can change everything. There you go! Greason! Second of the night, second of the half. He had their lone goal in the fourth quarter. Finds the back of the net with the bounce shot. Grease is good. He, he's very talented. If he calms down and lets the game come to him, he's gonna score more. He's gonna have more assists. I think sometimes he might force the issue right there. Kind of, he let the game come to him. Took advantage of what the defense gave him. Slide didn't come, buries a shot. And here we are, 8-7. There you go, Annie. They got that first goal of the fourth quarter, which obviously they needed badly. And there's a second face-off win. So I don't know if it's the, you know, the direction that the team's going in, but it seems like when teams are, when the team's offensive end of the field is to my left side, that seems to be where all the, the goals are, are taking place. BYU has all eight of their goals on the same, same side of the field. And Chapman has five of their seven on this side of the field. Just saying. And there's a rip. Rip by Riley. Good GB by Kressel, keeps the possession alive. 8-7, a little over 13 minutes ago in the fourth quarter here. Thanks for tuning in. Obviously, you don't want to go anywhere. Expect this will be a one, one goal game. And there's Greason again. Just misses. I think that might have hit the post. Goalie's best friend. Greason's having his way right now. Wow, Cress on a ride. And that's how you ride to the midfield line. Good job by Cressel there. That's how you ride. Every player out there, take notice. Right, ride to the midfield line. Give it everything you have. The team clears it, you rest. Right, you're an attack when you can rest when the team, when your team's on defense. First possession here for the Cougars, 8-7. We're at the 12-15 mark, 8-7 BYU. They got coffee out there. Nesser stayed on, had a, actually had an advantage. They had numbers there. Tackman didn't find them. But you got Coffee out there with number 16, Willie. And I don't know what that call is. Maybe a, maybe a moving pick, some sort of a legal procedure call. It's going to be a quick whistle going Panthers' way. Here comes Core, clears it himself. 
And he's going to sub off. And here comes the second midfield. Here's Nader. Tomei. I don't know if they're going to bring Jenkins out or not. Jenkins taking a lot of face-offs tonight. So you're going to see a, a new body on that second midfield. Good take by Abruzessa. Love to see more of that. I want to say it's number 15, Masri. He's going to take Jenkins' spot on the second midfield. Nice pick there by Nader. And there's a shot. Nice save by Bradenburg. A little force there by Greason. Love to see a little bit more patience there. And I think, I think Greason knows it. Good chatter on the defensive end. Find the man on the inside. Severson just a little high on the feed. Good ground ball there. Taylor picks it up. Moves it. Taylor's now going to sub off the field. On attack, you got Severson, Fabrizio, and Farley. That's their starting attack. Midfield wise, you got Coffee. Coffee's back out there with Labrum. Try to figure out who the third guy is. And there's your third guy right there with a shot high to high. That's Higgs. Nice save by Gradinger. Good possession here by BYU. 8-7 BYU. 9.30 to go here in the fourth quarter. Fabrizio, not much angle there. Gradinger does a great job. Staying on the pipe and letting his body swallow that one up. Now they just got to clear. BYU likes to lock players off. Leaving the goalie open. They're going to lock here. They're going to match feet. BYU is going to match feet, make the pull, bring it over. Good job by Greason, the supporters defender. This is a good time to dodge. I like it. Great save by Bradenburg. That's a great time to dodge, great save. Oh, ball's loose. Didn't know it. Net is open. They got numbers. There's a push from behind. That's actually a smart foul there by BYU. That is a smart foul. I mean, that net was open. I mean, not completely open yet. A BYU defender in the cage. But you know, I mean, the chance of that defender making a save is probably less than 2%. Great heads up. I'll take that penalty all day. If I'm Coach Schneck, I'm taking that penalty all day. It's a 30-second penalty. You save the goal. You're still up one. Right? Gives your gives your team a chance to, to get a stop. Gives Bradenburg back in between the pipes. Chapman comes out in a 3-3. Three, three. There's, there's a carry. Nice little, nice little wheel action. There's a rip. Kressel lets it fly, and Bradenburg takes it right off the helmet. I really, I like Kressel on this wing. Bradenburg's right wing. Now they're going to wheel it on the other side. Penalties released. They're not all even yet. Now they are. Great job by Taylor to hustle in there from the midfield line. All even, Bradenburg comes up with a big save right there. Play time to go in this game, 8-7 BYU, and there's Gardner! Gardner gets top side with a nice sweep. That's his first of the night. 8-8, 7-15 to go. Gardner gets a righty sweep, shoots it low to low to Bradenburg's offside. Ball finds the net. BYU comes up with a great stop on man down, but then Garner gets to his right hand, finds the back of the cage, and here we are, 8-8, 7-15 to go. We've got a good crowd on hand. Great crowd. I don't know if our TVX crew can show the, 
show the fans here on the sidelines, but I like to think there's, you know, 200 people here or so. Thanks for making the trip. Obviously, this is a road game for both teams, right? We're not at BYU. We're not at Chapman. We're here at Ventura Park in Henderson, Nevada. And we're 8-8. Eight, eight. With 7-10 to go in this fourth quarter, this has been back and forth. BYU coming out early in the start of this game, putting up three goals in the first five minutes, four in the first quarter. They scored the first four goals of the game. Chapman scores the next five, goes up 5-4 in the halftime. BYU comes back with four goals in the third to take an 8-6 lead to go into the fourth. And BYU has scored two goals here in the fourth quarter to tie it up. And here we are. Nice look inside. Gradinger has made some huge saves here in this second half. Finds Kaur. Kaur finds Siegel. Gradinger is just doing a great job stepping up, taking angles away when, when the BYU players are finding themselves open on the crease. And here's some great pressure by, by, by the BYU close defender, number 18, Hanley. Creating the transition. And Severson just sticks it. That's his third of the night. He just lit that up and it all starts with the pressure on the defensive end of the field by number 18, Hanley. Gets it off the carpet, gets it to the attackman, let the attackman do the work, and Severson just stings. Gradinger's top left corner. BYU nine, Chapman eight. Jenkin with a great face off. He's won all three this quarter. And he's off to the races. And there's Greason. He loves that hitch move. Gressel bells out Greason with the GB. No need to panic. Plenty of time in the game. Coming up on the 530 mark. First midfield's out there for the Panthers. Garner has it on the wing. A little two-man game. Gets top side. He had the last goal. He likes his short stick matchup. Draws the double, moves it on. Greason with the hitch. He loves that hitch move. Wow, what a save. Brandenburg with another great save. His last two saves have probably been the top saves of the night for him. Great job by Garner to recognize the short stick D matchup. Draws the double. Greason with a good rip. Bradenburg with a nice save off the left, left arm. Good take there by Riley. Good possession here by the Panthers. Coming up on the 430 mark here. 9-8 BYU. Both teams have both timeouts. And there's Kressel. Just misses high. We're at the 430 mark, 9-8 BYU. Looks like BYU might be going into a zone defense here. Something they haven't shown all night. And that's exactly what it is. It's a zone defense. They haven't shown it all night. I like the call. BYU looked a little tired during this possession. I love the call. Great adjustment by the coaching staff. There's a shot to save again by Bradenburg. That's his fifth of the quarter. Good ride here by Kelly. But Williams is able to clear it, get in the box. And we're under, we're under four minutes. Slides 
Sloppy. Don't need to do it. Oh, don't turn it over. Didn't need to do it. Can they get one in transition? They do. Melby. Sticks it high to high. 9-9. Nine, nine. 327 to go. Melby. Love the shot on the run. Didn't need. Didn't need to make the pass. BYU, right? You just get down on the offensive end of the field. You haven't been down there much. Take the air of the ball. Chapman takes advantage of the turnover, and they respond with a goal in transition. Wow, Jenkins loses a clamp, but digs the ball out. He's won all, he's won all four faceoffs in this fourth quarter. BYU won all six in the third. And I'll do my best here to give every, give the fans a countdown on the clock. Three minutes, 9-9. Nine, nine. Panthers have dominated possession here in the fourth quarter. It's all right, good two-man game. The two-man game from the wings been working for them. Second midfield's on, you got Nader to a May. And they've actually put Gardner out there put Gardner out there with the second midfield. Makes sense. It's probably been your top midi. Nestor, Nestor's gonna guard him. So it frees up Tomei and, and Nader to get the D midi matchups. They're gonna do a two man game. Nope, move the ball to X. Abruzessa with it. Good possession, good patience. No need to force anything. Two minutes. And here's that invert. Here's that invert. I liked it earlier, and here it is again. Draws the double. Play on. Oh! Greason had the look. Bradenberg, sixth save of the quarter. It's his 14th. That's what I have. It's his 14th of the game. Playing, playing great lacrosse right now. BYU needs to clear it. They get the touch in the box, and there's the timeout call. We have a minute 24 to go in the fourth quarter. We are at all tied up at nine. We're actually going to stay with you here. Got to give you my thoughts on what I'm, what I think Coach Schneck and, and Coach Hartley are thinking. You know, if you're BYU, you, you got to get your horses out there. And, and personally, I think you go through your attack. You know, Severson's got has three goals tonight. Fabrizio has two. Farley's not on the board, but you got to go. I, I love to see Severson and, and Fabrizio, you know, maybe work a two-man game. But the ball's got to be in their stick. You might initiate out of the midfield, you know, guys like, you know, a guy like Miller, you know, maybe get them out there with Bertha. Um, you know, those are two guys that, have, that put up some numbers. Um, you know, maybe get, you know, Willie out there. He's put up some numbers uh, this season. But you, you got to find Severson. You, you got to find Fabrizio. Maybe set up a play for those guys, initiate from the midfield. If you're if you're Chapman, obviously you're going to do the complete opposite. You do not want Severson and Fabrizio getting open. Um, you know, Nicky Mullen's going to lock down Severson. You know, Shriver. Shriver's got to lock down Fabrizio. And then Melby and Core are your D middies, and they got to step up to the challenge right now. So here we go. Minute 24, 9 9. And Melby's going to start on the ball. And Crossan's going to be the LSM for the Panthers. Midfield wise, you got Paulson out there, you got Bertha. And you got, you got Willie out there for the for the Cougars at the midfield. 
Right and there's Severson with the ball. He's going to sling it over to. I do not see Fabrizio. I see Farley, and I see number 25. Wadops. I don't know if Fabrizio's hurt or what's going on. But Wadops out there, number 25. And we're coming up on 30 seconds. Severson with it. We are 30 seconds to go in this game. And obviously the Cougars, we're going to hold for one shot here. Makes a lot of sense. And they're going to call another timeout. 20 seconds to go in this game. Nine to nine. It doesn't get any better than this. This has been a back and forth game. Both teams, both teams scoring in transition, scoring six on six, scoring on man up. Defenders making plays on both sides. Bradenburg and, and Gradinger are playing great in between the pipes. I have I have Bradenburg for 14 saves. I have Gradinger for, for 12. And, and obviously I'm I'm comp commenting tonight and doing my best to take stats. So they, you know, I might have missed one or two for them. So they might be, you know, one or two more. Um, but both goalies have played extremely well. The face-offs has essentially been pretty even. Chapman has nine wins. BYU has uh, 13. So I guess, I'll, you know, BYU's got four more. So a little advantage there, but not a big one. Um, so, you know, just a great game. Two evenly matched teams. 20 seconds to go. 9-9, nine, nine, and Coach Hartley's going to call his timeout. So players are going to go back to the benches. That's smart. You know, if you have them, use them. You know, it allows your players to rest a little bit more. You get to see, you know, who's going to come on the field for BYU. Smart timeout by Coach Hartley. Calm his guys down. You know, talk to them a little bit more. Make sure everybody's on the same page. So once again, I'm I'm going to go back to what I said at the first BYU timeout at the 124 mark of the fourth quarter, where I I, I was thinking Fabrizio or Severson was, you know, look for a shot from those guys, maybe a play. But I didn't even see Fabrizio on the field. I'm, I wonder if he's going to come out right now. Don't know if he's injured. Don't know his situation. And he's out. He's actually going to come out and pick up the ball. So Fabrizio's back. Severson's out there. Farley's out there. The midfield, you got a, some new midfield. You got Meinhold. Well, here we go. Fabrizio's just going to go right at his guy. Nicky Mullins up to the challenge. Passes thrown away. Got eight seconds on the clock. Plenty of time to get a shot off. It's going to be Chapman ball. Fabrizio just went right at Nicky Mullen. Good defensive play. Not sure what's going on here. Might want to just throw the ball at the cage because you don't have much time. There's the shot. Sales wide. We're going into overtime. We are going into overtime, ladies and gentlemen. 9-9. Nine, nine. I am going to add that we have we have broadcasted five games this year, and four of those games have been decided by one goal. And this will be our fifth game out of six that will be decided by one goal. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. I want to thank TVX for making the making the drive out here from San Diego. Do a great job. I want to thank Matt Holman for putting on this weekend. And, and thank all the teams for participating in the, the Coaches vs. Cancer. This is our SLC game of the week. And there will be games uh, being broadcasted tomorrow as well. So make sure you tune in for, um, I believe we'll have one game tomorrow live and then just a couple other games that will be streamed. So here we are, fourth quarter. Sorry, overtime, 9-9. Nine, nine. BYU's coming out, taking the field.
Chapman still in their huddle, talking things over. BYU has won 13 faceoffs. Chapman has won nine. Doesn't get any more important than this one. You got Nestor on one wing, Paulson on the other. You got Melby on one wing and Siegel on the other. Vasso and Simon Jenkins going after it here at the faceoff X. And here we go. It's a four minute overtime, sudden death. First goal wins. Vasso wins the clamp. Paulson with the faceoff. GB. BUIU's got to clear it. There's Nesser. But there's Siegel. Nesser finds Paulson. No timeout here by Coach Schneck. He's going to let his boys play. Once again, it's a four minute overtime period. Ah, Cougars a little sloppy there. Turn it over, but it's a four minute overtime period. Sudden death, first goal wins. A little careless there by the, by the Cougars. They're subbing their guys on, just trying to move the ball around. Surprise Coach Schneck didn't call a timeout. And Coach Harley's going to use his timeout. Especially after seeing what, what BYU did, throwing that ball out of bounds. We're not going anywhere. We're staying right here. We are not going anywhere. We do not want to miss any of the action here. It's been a great one. Kind of just go over some stats right now. Severson's leading the way for, the, for BYU with three goals tonight. On Chapman's side, you got Greason has two, Nader has two. They're leading the way, but in my mind, the story has really been the goal, the play of the goaltenders. Bradenberg and, and Greininger have done a phenomenal job tonight. Bradenberg with 14 saves, Greininger with 12. Both goalies playing extremely well. And here we are. Chapman out there with the first midfield. Garner, Kelly, Riley. They got Kressel, Greason, and Abruzessa. And BYU comes out in the zone. They showed it late in the fourth. They're showing it again right now. We're under three minutes. Sudden death, first goal wins. There's this high bouncer by Kressel. I love the shot. He hasn't taken that shot tonight. A little three quarters high bouncer. I thought he had Bradenburg. Bradenburg went low, just missed high. BYU stayed in that zone. Essentially, they're going to give up the outside shot. They don't press too much. They stay tight. So Chapman's going to have that 15 yard shot. And here's a, here's a shot right here. Bradenburg with a save again. That's his 15th of the night. So by going zone, more likely you're going to give up a shot. You're not going to force a turnover on the ball. If anything, you're going to force a turnover with a feed. There's a shot off the helmet of Bradenburg. Garner lets it fly from about 15. Bradenburg with a 16th save of the night. There's a look. There's a 17th save of the night. Wow, Bradenburg is standing on his head. Wow, his first year was back in 2011. Here he is in 2016, 16 saves. It's actually 17 saves, nine against. Chapman's all over the ground balls and they're moving the ball well. Good cutter inside. And there it is, Chapman wins in overtime. Connor Riley finds the gap on the crease, finishes it, trickles in. Chapman's gonna walk away with the with the W here. Man, you got you gotta really tip your hat off to both teams. You know, games like this, you know, you wish you could have two winners. Um, I, I expect both of these teams to 
to have great seasons. Um, you know, BYU has a lot of talent. They play a lot of bodies. Chapman the same. These are two evenly matched teams. Great win for Chapman. They're the number one team in the country. They'll stay the number one team in the country. BYU is the number four team in the country. I don't see them going anywhere. So before we get out of here, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Thank TVX. Thank Coach Holman for putting on the Coaches vs. Cancer weekend here in Ad Ad Adventura Park. And thank all the fans for coming to the game. It was a great one. 10-9 Chapman, overtime. We will tune in with you next time.